the list panel offers some pretty serious power user tricks. Use the keyboard number keys 1 through 6 to access these pages quickly. For most of the lists, you have checkboxes to filter by type. But with the old and new lists, you have a couple of extra features. You can filter by clip name or part thereof. So I can find all of scene 11, or using a comma, I can include scene 16 and scene 24. I can show all the MP4 files, or I can show only VFX and only those which are dropped from the cut. You can also use these lists to help locate some missing shot or shots. Just select them in the new timeline and type Command F and you'll see their clip names have automatically populated the filter field. Or I can show only reel 6 and only the clips from track 2. Command click on the file name will select all of its children. The list of contributing files depends on how you imported this information. If you drag in a movie file, a WAV file and an AAF, you'll see them listed here. However, if you save this as a sequence and import it later, you'll see just the sequence file name listed. The advantage of this is that if you drag in more than one sequence file, you'll see them all listed here and you have the ability to show and hide or select an entire reel and delete it.